What's up, fam? How y'all doing, yo? We got Hajibeto Epo, man. But first things first, y'all, I wanted to have a quick message um, to all my supporters, man. All my all, all, all the people who are part of my fam, yo. All my subscribers. Um, a quick message, yo. Um, right now, you feel me? Eat, um, one Piece is the priority. You feel me? I'm only uh, 14 or 15 episodes behind right now on YouTube until I catch up. On Patreon, I'm up, I'm up to date. But um, I'm only, yeah, like I said, 14, 15 episodes behind. So One Piece is the priority right now. Once that gets, once I catch up and that becomes one episode a week, you feel me, for YouTube, then um, Epo will be a, a reoccurring um, thing every week. You feel me? Two episodes dropping at once instead of one. You feel me? So, um, that's just um an update on that and why Epo hasn't been coming out. You feel me? Um, weekly. Um, so that's the reason for that. And as well as um a couple things to let y'all know. One, I know I ain't no big um channel. You feel me? I only I'm about to get five thousand soon enough. But I ain't no huge super channel. You feel me? Um, but I need, so I need some help from y'all, you feel me? If y'all really want these Epo videos and I want to give them to you, feel me? I have a, y'all know me, like, I, I, I ain't for the numbers game and all that, but I, but I gotta be though, you feel me? I'm doing this for the, the, the passion in, 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 in the art, you feel me? And, um, y'all added, um, experience, y'all, y'all added, um, value onto that, you feel me? That, that just drives me to keep going even more, you feel me? So, um, I just need all of y'all to, every single time I drop, I need y'all to hit that like button, yo. Epo, the first episode got up to 100 likes. I need, I need to get that exact same. <laughs> I need to get, um, high numbers on that every single time. So, please, if all my, all my family out there, if you would like to continue to see Epo on here, you feel me? Because I ain't gonna stop doing this, but I'm gonna need y'all help with it, you feel me? So, please always leave a like, um, leave a comment and try to watch a good portion of the video instead of skipping around, you feel me? To help me out with, um, my video retention. You feel me? So um, that's all I'm asking of y'all, man. And I'm again, I'm gonna get to it, y'all. On Patreon, I'm already on. Um, just dropped episode 31 and 32, so we deep into the fight with Sendo right now, cause <laughs> you feel me? So um, that's just to let anyone know if um, if anyone would like to support me even further, bro. Um, I drop every week on Patreon. You feel me? It's not a week that don't go by that I don't drop. So um, if you'd like to continue seeing Epo content, um on a regular basis bro and you would like to support me even further link is in the description of my patreon and um again man just please leave me a comment leave me a like every single time bro and help me out with these numbers and and help me out with the um with the algorithm you feel me in youtube to get um just to get um epo some more uh my epo video some more exposure you feel me so i'd appreciate that thank you very much again patreon link is in the description and bro i love i, I really have a real love and passion for this series and for epo and um and for y'all yo and and so i thank you all and um enjoy bro What's good, y'all? Your boy Eternal, man, back with another one. We got Hajime no Epo, man. Episode two, man. Yo, we got a long way to go, bro. <laughs> Fuck. Episode two, man. Shout out to all my Patreon supporters, yo. Real shit. Much love and, and, and respect, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you, man. And we're going to continue to push and moving for and, and keep moving forward. You feel me? So let's get it. Um, and shout out to all my um YouTube family, man. All my subscribers. Much love and respect as well. Hope everybody's safe, having a good day. I fucking loved episode one of Epo. Um, just Epo is just a good dude, bro. Like I really rock with him, and and as I said, episode one, I I can relate. You feel me to to him helping out his mother with the family business because I had to do that when I was in high school. Um, on certain days of the week, you feel me, so I can make sure my mother gets home um early. You feel me from work because if I didn't go with her. She would get home late as shit, you feel me? And, you know, you'd be worried sometimes. So, I truly rocked with his character, bruh. And, and I rock with Takamura, man. That's a real dude, too, bruh. I love when Epo came up to him and told him and told him that he wanted to do... He wanted to be a boxer, you feel me? And Takamura didn't take that... Didn't, didn't accept him from jump, you feel me? Didn't accept him off rip. He said, are you mocking this sport, bruh? You feel me? Like this shit this shit don't come easy, bro. And I and I love that because that just showed how much of a respect and love 
and care that Takamura has for the sport. You feel me? So I really, I really enjoyed all that, man. But Ipo was determined. Um, you feel me? He said, I'm determined and we know he going to work hard. You know it. He already do, does been doing it. I don't know how long in his life. You feel me? Helping out his mother and due to helping out his mother. I know that that's helped him build up his upper body strength, which allowed him to punch that bag the way he did. So I, I think I, I'm I, I loved it and I'm ready to continue on, man. Shout out to all my people, man. Again, if you'd like to support me even further and join my Patreon, man, link will be in the description. And I'm ready, yo. Let's get it. Come on, you po. Come on. <laughs> it's not as easy as you thought, huh? Let's get to it. He will. That don't mean he won't excel. That don't mean he won't excel, bro. Just because he ain't the boxer type. Mm. He grabbed two. He got tired, boy. You gotta build your stamina up, brother. Come on, brother. Keep going at it. Be focused. My boy gonna get it, bro. Come on now. He gonna get it. That's real shit, bro. That's my dude, bro. Like, he, a re he really a hard worker, bro. Like... On everything, man. He just be going in, yo. Man, fuck, nigga. What y'all want, bro? What's happening? He gone, nigga. Fuck you, nigga. Your word don't mean shit to me, nigga. Why I gotta sit here and listen to you speak? Fuck you. Real shit, Epo. I fuck with that. Bro, I'm ready for the fade, bro. You know me. Shit, you fucking with my homie, bro. What's up? What you got, brother? Two? Come on, just keep at it, bro. Let's go. Keep at it, brother. I like how you took that, bro. It was, it was only two, but he got it. You feel me? So. She noticed. That's what's up, bro. That's what's up. That's real, man. She ain't never seen Epo, you know, fixated on something and, and just working towards something, you feel me, on his own. That doesn't have to do with the business, you feel me? So that's dope, man. I love it, yo. His mom, his mother pays attention to him, to her son. Come on. Damn, we right there and we can only pick up five? Come on, brother. Come on, man. Keep working. Don't kill yourself, though. Oh, he worked all day and night, bro. He wasn't bullshitting, bro. That's dedication. I'm happy to be watching this, bro. Finally, I got something positive. Mmm. <laughs> okay, brother. All right. Let's get to it. Let's get that vision. Come on. Come on. Ooh. He saw, he felt that and saw that. Takamura, bro. <laughs> he felt and saw that. He got 10. He got 10. My boy got talent, bro. He got the work, work ethic, I should say. Let's go, bro. I love this confidence in him right now. <laughs> that was funny. Okay, he wants to get him to get his stamina and his body a little bit, you know, conditioned. You feel me? A little bit conditioned before he gets in 
gets into the bot um in the gym. You feel me? So that's dope, man. That's smart. That's good coaching. You feel me? <laughs> Everybody's sleeping on Epo, bro. They sleeping, dog. It's okay. Y'all sleeping. Y'all sleep. Just because he ain't the boxer type don't mean he won't excel. <laughs> Potential. Come on, brother. Bring that confidence back. We didn't work. All, we didn't do all this shit for nothing, bro. Come on now. Bring that confidence back. Come on now. It's gonna. It's gonna come to you, bro. You know what you gotta do. Nah, you can't. You can't back out. Show them, show them who the fuck you is, Epo. Show them you got heart. Show them you got heart, man. Well, bring your bitch ass over here, Sasuke. Nigga, let's get to it. <laughs> Kageyama, what's happening? Shit, what's up? Ichiro Miyada. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, my boy ready. Kageyama's punk ass at the beginning of the story. <laughs> Fuck with Takamura, bro. He, he, he a real dude. Nah, Epo. Show them who you is, bro. Nah, nah. That's not how you were grabbing them leaves. Mm. Come on, Epo. Dodge that. Put your hands up. That's one. That's one. Real shit. Get up. Get up. We're going to get to it next episode. Bet. I love, I like this. And say, well, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna be fucking them up in the ring, boy. <laughs> I can't wait, bro. <laughs> Fuck, I can't wait, man. We're going to be knocking them motherfuckers out, boy. <laughs> oh, I... Get up. That's right. We don't quit around here, bruh. We don't quit around here. Ain't no easy wins around here, bruh. Come on now. Oh, yeah, he ain't no bitch. Come on. Let's go. Good shit. He blocked it. Good shit. Keep your hands up. <laughs> he said, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Come on. Come on. You got to be able to dodge that. <gasps> Damn. Can't just keep your guard up over here, bro. You gotta protect your lo your lower body too. Come on, nah, bro. You ain't finna pass out on me right now. Come on, get it. Come on, show some heart, Epo. Get up. Fuck. This is his first match. This is his first. This is his first time, bro. So I ain't real shit. Let's go. Oh, bruh. Real shit. Get the fuck up. <laughs> Real shit. I thought he was going to be out right there. That was it. He got up, bruh. Real shit. Takamura wasn't finna just let that shit go, bruh. Like, he done sit. 
all the work you done put in, bro. Epo to tag his ass one good time, just whack his ass. Come on, come on, Epo. Damn, that's it, bro. He going down. He going down after that. Stand up, stand straight up, stand straight up. Let's go, Epo. He got heart. My nigga got heart, bro. Which is. I like that. It hurts, but it doesn't hurt. And I can see how the emotional side can hurt way more than the physical. That's what I'm talking about, Epo. That's what I like to hear, man. We're going to keep getting up no matter what. Yep, because once you lose your feet, that's it. Man, do exactly what you were doing with the leaves. Yes. Yeah, you better stay on your damn toes, motherfucker. Because Taka Aura in his corner. That's my nigga right there, bro. We finna... Come on. You finna get tagged doing that. You looking at the ground and shit. Ooh, ooh come on, Epo. Good shit. Good shit. That was close. That was close. That was fast for him, bro. Let's go, brother. Let's go. Show them who you is, bro. Show them the heart that you have. Let's go, brother. We ain't finna give in. Whack his ass one time. Epo, just hit him one time. Keep him on his tiptoes. Put your foot in there, man. Whack him. Whack him. Let's go. Now he's got his defense is down. His defense is down, bro. Hit him. Hit him. Hit him. Let's go, Evo. Take his head off. That would have been so fucking clean, bro. I was, I was shocked for a moment. Like, I had to pause for a quick second. I thought he was about to fucking obliterate Epo right there. That would have been crazy, but good shit, Epo. Everybody gonna talk what they talk, bro. <laughs> and they outside the ring. Fuck wrong with them. That's what's important, huh? Let's see. Ooh, that was so quick. Let's go, bruh. That's interesting. They all changing their tunes now. Mm. Come on, now. Just tag my nigga. Come on, bruh. Mm. Come on, Epo. Stay on your feet. Stay on your feet. That's one. Okay, now nah, it's three in a round. But he can't stand now. Let's go, Epo. We ain't fucking giving in to none of this shit. Let's go, brother. He's showing so much heart, bro, this episode, bro. I love it. He's showing so much heart, man. He gonna continue to go, bro. Mm -hmm. Fuck, that's two. He gonna get back up. Nah, he gonna get back up. Let's go, brother. Ain't no faint hearts on this side, bruh. Ain't no That's what, bro. that's what we talking about, bro. We made a commitment. Let's go, bruh. Come on, bruh. You're making these punches look hard as shit. <laughs> Come on, brother. It's a new day. Nah, you just fight someone that got something to prove, nigga. That got heart and will and determination. That's 
the Epo, bruh. Taking all that shit and then fall. Now once. That's it, though. That's the one. He's done. He's just... And then, bro, let's go whack his ass. Fuck him. Come on, Epo. Come on, Epo. Let's go. That's what the fuck we talking about, bro. Come on now. Let's go, brother. That's game. That's game. That dude was reach is long, boy. You saw how he leaned in there and fucking whacked Epo. He got he got some reach, boy. Damn. But you showed so much heart, Epo, man. I'm proud of you, brother. I'm I'm truly proud. You showed a lot of heart and a lot of spirit, man. A lot of grit, a lot of spirit. <laughs> Whose eyes are blind? Mine's are yours. Every day. <laughs> Let's go, bro. <laughs> Said every day <laughs> from now on. Let's go, bro. We go. We going on this journey right now, cuz. Let's get to it. Nah, he really wasn't. Nah, but he really wasn't bullying or he didn't sh he didn't do nothing malicious at all, bro. Like I re I fuck with him. <laughs> He's not a bitch. He's not that uh, that bitch type character. He ain't he ain't like Sasuke, <laughs> punk. Then he ain't a punk like Kagiyama. Well, at least what Kagiyama was once at the beginning of the story. <laughs> a lot of grit, a lot of heart. Everybody saw that, bro. And they can respect it. They got they got to respect it. Ain't got no choice. <laughs> Kimimura and Aoki. Or Aoki. It's a, it, today is a new day. It's a new day, my boy. Every day in this motherfucker, we going in. You worked hard, my boy. You worked hard, my brother. I'm a boxer. <laughs> this is this is beautiful, bro. That was some real shit, bro. That was deep, bro. I felt that, cuz. Like, and now he he fin he finna have like a group of friends now as well, bro, which will turn into a family soon enough so this that's dope bro that was, that was some real shit man that's his fuck yeah but I, I really do rock with that i don't remember his name right now but um the the kaeda type character the kageyama type the sasuke type character you feel me um that uh just just sparred with Epo. Like I fuck with him, bro. He wasn't a malicious dude. He wasn't a dude that 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 likes to show off or brag or whatever. He's just in tune with the sport and he and that's what he does. And he takes it seriously. And I like how he didn't try to, like I said, show out against Epo or like fucking destroy Epo. Like he like he really just he, he he just seemed like a good dude, man, and I respect that, bro. Real shit. He seems like that, you know, that one character with that edge to him, but he he st he still look like he had, he got a good soul or whatever, bro. So I fuck with that, and I really love the heart that Epo displayed in this episode for everybody to see. Everybody was downplaying him. Everybody was talking shit, and in the end, bro, he's he's accepted, um, because of the heart that he showed, even though he. He lost, so I truly enjoyed all of that, man. Real shit, and and the fact that as the rounds went on, Epo showed continued to show more heart and get more comfortable after each round. You feel me? So I I, I truly love that, man. Yo, that was 
Hajime no Ipo, man, episode two, bro. That was dope again, bro. Just to see, excuse me, just to see um the work ethic in Ipo, bro. The determination, yo, was off the charts, bro. Um, Takamura gave him a week to to um complete this task. You feel me? Of grabbing ten leaves, and he worked non-stop all week day and night bro like non-stop he he was coming home and, and just eating his, his breakfast real quick and then heading out like real shit and then at, at school that's all he was thinking about was how to do it and he was struggling bro for for most that week he was struggling only was able to grab like two leaves you feel me and then at the end of the week when he got down to right to the last day he, he, he only grabbed like five, you feel me? So it was dope how in that last day, like he start he had to think because he's like, bro, like there, there's no, like how am I supposed to do this, yo? And once he thought about um, the example Takamura gave him, which when he did that, he was showing Ipo what he needs to do what his task is, but it's on you to, um, really analyze and, and look at how he just did it you feel me and that's what Ipo did in that last day he finally had to think like how did Takamura do this and he looked and he saw and, and he realized that you got to keep your fist clenched all the way until the moment where you're gonna where it's in sight to grab it and you got to grab it quickly you feel me but if you keep your fist clenched too tight or whatever it, it's gonna slow you down or something I can't remember exactly but um it was just dope how he he like thought and he he, he came up with it you feel me so that that's all it, it would have been a whole lot more easier and he would have did this way sooner if he would have if he would have thought about it earlier but he didn't so but it's cool man that that all that them, them practices and that um work ethic you feel me that work that he put in um just helped him do it a whole lot more easier on that first try you feel me after he realized what takamura could did so that was all dope man it, it, it was all love takamura was surprised to see him having jabs like that you feel me so he ipo does have potential yo and he sees it so shout out to takamura you know for for seeing ipo for seeing ipo and and, and, and realizing his potential um because that was all dope yo but then also we get introduced to the coach and we get word that um his gym since he's opened it in these past 20 years has only had two world champions you feel me so and um the other dude was saying that Ta takamura is gonna be that one that next one you feel me that third and ipo is gonna be that fourth you feel me so I, I can't wait bro till we get deeper in it but I, I'm, I love the process I love the journey you feel me so we're gonna get there man um but that was all dope yo and and it was interesting how um oh also before we get to that Epo's mother yo shout out to Epo's mother she's a good mother man she she realized and, and saw um that her son was infatuated with something she didn't know what it was but she know she knows he is you feel me? He he's he's deeply fascinated and infatuated with something, and he's working hard for it. So I really appreciate that she noticed that in her son, bro. And she told him, "Hey, bro, go do it. I'm still young. I can I can handle this business, and it's gonna be hard for her and him to do that. But he got to do what he loves. You feel me? And she's letting him do that. Um, she sees that, and she's accepting and letting him do that. So I I love shout out to his mother, bro. Real talk. Um, but moving on, um. We get to the gym and Epo's getting introduced to everybody, introducing himself, and everybody's just sleeping on him, yo. They downplaying him. They're like, bro, this dude ain't no boxer. You feel me? And then even the coach downplayed him and told Takamura, you said you were bringing in a boxer. Like, well, who is this? You feel me? So I love all this. I love all this, 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 this sleep. You feel me? They sleep on Epo, man. He gonna show them, yo. So they, then we get introduced to Miata, which is also a, a, a name of a character in Slam Dunk, yo. So that's interesting. But um, Miata, you know the Sasuke type, the 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 Kageyama type. You feel me? Um, the the Kanata, Kanata type right here, bro. That's my dog, bro. Like I I love Kanata, real nigga. But um. 
Chaotic, yeah, man. So we gotta introduce a Miata who's dope and fire as well, yo. He has, he, he, he's, he, he has a lot more skill than many um professional boxers already, but he's too young. You feel me? So he's really a prodigy. He was, he was, he's privileged, I should say, and he's a prodigy because his 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 dad was a former um um professional boxer and and raised him up um training him so he privileged but it is what it is Epo coming from nothing while Miata's privileged and we're gonna see what happens man um I love how Epo's still a little shy and timid you feel me because he's still not used to all of this but Takamori you know talked him into it and not really even talked him into it Epo had to talk himself into it he's like bro I didn't I, didn't, I, I decided I'm gonna do this and that's it, bro. We're going to keep moving and pushing forward. So he, he said that to himself and he got in the ring and he wasn't jabbing. He wasn't being like he was with them leaves. And that's just because he's not comfortable yet, bro. You feel me? You, you put in the mix of some shit in the heart of it. And, and now it's real now. So you got to he has to stay focused. You feel me? And do what he needs to do and what he learned from that that um uh, leaves test. So he got he got hit, bro. He got hit and he got put to the ground, but he gonna get back up and we gonna get into it next episode, man. Shout out to all my subscribers, all my Patreon supporters. Much love and respect, man. Y'all be safe and have a good day. Peace.